Okay, so we're asked for the single transformation, the map shape A onto B. So I'm starting A, going to B. And I first of all got to figure out which transformation I'm looking at. Well, it's not an enlargement because it hasn't grown or shrunk. It's the same size. It's not a rotation or reflection because it's kind of the same way around. It's exactly the same shape. All that's happened is it's moved. And that means it's going to be a translation. So I'm going to say translation. Okay, now we need to figure out what the translation is. Now, always pick the same point on both shapes. I'm going to, I always pick the top left one. Okay, just make sure it's the same, it doesn't matter which one you pick. So I'm going to pick the top left one on both shapes. Now, I'm going to start at A and I'm going to try to get to B by using jumps. So I'm going to start off going right first. So one, two, three. I am in line with B now. And then I'm going to go down. So one, two, three, four down. So I've gone three right and four down. And the reason we do the jumps is if you if you do them in the exam you always get the right answer. The most common mistake with this is people counting lines and if you have a look here there's technically four lines here and people write down four. It's not, it's three. Three is going to be the answer for this. So we've gone three right and four down. And the way we show this is with a little vector. The top one, and I'm, I'll put these as notes over here, the top one shows how far right you've gone, the bottom one how far up you've gone. Well, we've said we've gone three right, so that's nice and easy, so three. But here we've gone four down, and the bottom one always shows how far up we've gone. So we've gone minus four up, otherwise four down. So if the top one is left, then it will be a negative number. If the bottom one is down, then it will be a negative number.